Hey everyone, Easy English Club back with another British English lesson. Today I'm going to teach you seven, seven, yep, I've come up with seven British English expressions that you guys can use to sound more fluent when you speak English. Guys, these expressions are useful if you like to travel. First one I've got for you is over the moon over the moon you'll hear this a lot what it means it means you're excited you're over the moon about something like it means like you're happy totally excited now an example sentence i was over the moon when i discovered a british speaker on youtube I was over the moon when I found a British speaker on YouTube. All right, guys, that's the first one. You'll hear it a lot. Over the moon, really easy. Over the moon. All right, guys, the second one. End of the day. We use connected speech in this, like at the end of the day. At the end of the day. At the end of the day, may take a little more practice with this one. At the end of the day, you use this when you're trying to summarise something. Use it before you give the most important piece of information. Example sentence. My parents wanted me to become a doctor, but at the end of the day, I decided to teach people English. My parents wanted me to be a doctor, but at the end of the day, I decided I wanted to teach people English. Third one, guys. Everything's up in the air. Everything's up in the air. Maybe you can guess what this one means. Everything's up in the air. Like you've got lots of ideas, but none of them are coming together. Nothing's organised. Everything's up in the air. Example sentence. Everything's up in the air at the moment. I think we need to put the meeting off until next week. Everything's up in the air at the moment. I think we need to put the meeting off until next week. Practice that one, guys. Question number four. Knuckle down. Knuckle. Knuckle down. I don't mean to punch you there. Knuckle down, where you kind of put your knuckles on the table. Knuckle down. What knuckle down means, it means you need to get serious about something. You need to study hard. Example sentence. If you want to pass your English exam, you will need to knuckle down. If you want to pass your English exam, you'll need to knuckle down. If you want to pass your English exam, You'll need to knuckle down. You'll need to study hard if you want to pass. Expression number five. Everything's gone down the drain. Everything's gone down the drain. It's kind of like water going down a sinkhole. Everything's gone down the drain. What this means, it means everything's gone to pot. It's not working right. It's a waste of time. Example sentence. How did the meeting go? No one could agree on anything. Everything's gone down the drain. How did the meeting go? No one could agree on anything. Everything's gone down the drain. Down the drain. That's an easy way to remember it, guys. Like water spinning around in the sinkhole. Down the drain. Not worth it. It's ruined. Expression number six. Touch base. Short one, guys. Easy to remember. Touch base base. Touch base means to contact someone, bring them up to speed, um, update them with some information. It's a business way of saying let's catch up. So example sentence, easy guys, let's touch base tomorrow. Let's touch base tomorrow. Or you can say, can we touch base next week? Can we touch base next week? Expression seven is off track, off track. Another short one, guys. What it means is means something isn't going to plan. It's off track. It's 
like a train going along a track it's off track it's not on the track anymore it could be that um a group of people got distracted from the main purpose of what they all gathered for in the first place example sentence it's difficult to stay on track with so many distractions it's difficult to stay on track with so many distractions i.e you couldn't have a good meeting because there's too much noise. There were distractions. All right, guys, that's you seven really easy British English expressions that you'll probably hear a lot from us nutty Brits. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if you like the lesson. Let me know how I can help you. Let me know what you like for another lesson. As you know, we focus on idioms, proverbs, expressions advanced vocabulary and i'll give you examples come and find us on facebook see you next time guys bye bye